So at the moment, our code generates random numbers, in this case, six of them, between zero and nine, and it just displays them on the screen. So for me as a programmer, I can debug it in a moment. Now, first thing I want to be able to do, and I am leaving that there to make my life easier as we go along for this program. Next thing I want to do is display them as dashes. So for every single digit in that answer, I want to display it as a dash on the screen. So for, I've already used I once before, so it doesn't make too much if I use it again. In range, well, it depends on the length of the number in this case. So depending on the range of the answer, I want to keep going. I want to loop through every single digit in the answer so that I can have a hyphen for each one. So if I print out just a hyphen, and that is like the minus sign, well, it doesn't like that one, does it? For I, oh, I did it again. I didn't put the in. There we go. Everything's fine. It puts the dashes in, so there should be six numbers. So there's six, one, two, three, four, five, six dashes. But I don't want them all underneath each other. I want them as one. So I might call it hyphens to make life easier. Hyphens equals, well, just a string. It's just empty at the moment. And so I'm going to do hyphens equals... Oh, plus equals a hyphen for each time that loop runs. Now, I nearly ran it without printing out hyphens afterwards to see what it was doing. Woo! So now I know what I'm guessing. Because I won't see this, it's the dashes that I'm going to start to begin to see. So how about printing an introduction? Print. Welcome to Mastermind. Your number has been generated for you. Good luck, adventure. We'll try that one. Oh, I'm feeling in a funny mood today. So we know that it's now a six digit number because those hyphens have been de demonstrated for us. And if I resize that one, it makes a little bit more sense with a few letters coming from the other side. Okay, now I'm going to allow them unlimited guesses to begin with, so I'm not going to worry too much about lives. But while true, I want to allow them to make a guess. So let's have guess equal to input. And let them make a guess. All right, now they're going to be guessing all six digits. Okay, so we can say, well, let's just prove to ourselves that that while true loop works at the moment. So we know we're guessing 868919. At the moment, it doesn't make any difference if I get it right or not. It will still let me guess no matter what. All right, so the first thing we want to do, well, if guess is equal to, and there should be two equal signs, um, whatever the answer was, print Ooh. congratulations your guess of, and I want to make sure that I can see their guess, was make sure I got my spell correct okay. now how do I want to do it let's press run okay so I know that that's the answer so if I type in something different it's not going to work seven four five zero six two however whoop congratulations your guess of that was correct I want to make it a little bit easier for me to see so I might use some single speech marks as well, just to make that sure that number stands out. Seven, four, four, seven, four, one, seven, four, like the sevens and it's fours on that one. Whoop. So by putting those speech marks, it does make it sound like I'm guessing a specific number. And part of me wants to capitalize the congratulations. Okay. 
Now, if it wasn't right, I want some other things to happen. All right. So at this point, I want to be able to give them some feedback. So whether it's how many numbers they got in the correct place, whether their number was too short or too long, okay, completely our choice. All right. I'm going to start with too short and too long and then go into in probably in the next video whether or not the number was in the correct place. Okay. So if the length or len of their guess is less than, so it points to the left, the length of the answer oh, why did I do that? Print I'm sorry your guess was too short you could also tell them how long they, you were expecting it for LF the length of the guess was greater than the length of the answer. That is on the end. It doesn't look like it, but I promise it is. There we go. Print. I'm um, sorry. But, oh, did put, use but for the last one. Your guess was too short, too long. Raw. Exclamation point. So let's test it out. Now you know that this is going to go in a forever loop because I put the while true. So if I just make one guess, I'm sorry the guess was too short. It's not going to worry about putting it in the right order or anything else along those lines or wondering whether they meant the first digit or the last digit. It couldn't care less. Okay, so what if it was too long? So longer than six characters. I'm sorry your guess was too long. Let's just check if it was a seven digit one, it would still go a bit weird. Woohoo! Awesome. And if I guessed Five, six, a six digit number coming soon because that's the next bit. Ah, oh, yes. I'm sure you'll have something to do up on the Google Classroom for this one. So do make sure you check back there. Good luck and over to you.